Grade 4 math number 67, subtract fractions with common denominators using models. We've been talking a lot about fractions lately, and if you already understand this, these things, you can skip to the later video, watch it. If you understand that one, skip to a later one. But it help, does help to go through all of these because I have them in order. So to review, a common denominator is a multiple that is shared by two or more fractions that were cut into the same amount of pieces or parts. So if you see a four that is a common denominator for two fractions, they're representing something that was split into four parts. This is one of the four, and that's two of the four, okay? Remember that the numerator is on top and the denominator is on the bottom, and that a multiple is like an answer in a multiplication problem. Multiple sixes would be six, 12, 18. There's a multiple number of sixes. So let's see what Emma's doing. She walked her dog for five-eighths of a mile on Saturday and three-eighths of a mile on Sunday. How much more did Emma walk on Saturday than Sunday? Well, we've got a number line. And here, if you can see, she did five-eighths on Saturday. So we marked the five-eighths spot on Saturday that she walked. But on Sunday, she walked three-eighths. So we're going to go back one, two to the 3 eighths, and we know that the difference is 2 eighths. Because we're describing eighths, the denominator is going to be the same because we're talking about the same number of parts. So 5 eighths take away 3 eighths would be 2 eighths. We slide the denominator across and subtract the numerators. 5 minus 3 equals 2. Okay? Now let's look at this. Tim ordered a pizza that was cut into 8 slices. He ate two of the slices. He ate a one-eighth and a one-eighth. How much pizza did he save for later? Well, if it was split into eight pieces, the whole thing was eight pieces of eight. He ate two of them, and now there are six pieces of the eight left over. Eight-eighths, which is one whole, right? All eight pieces of that pizza, pizza was one whole pizza. Take away two-eighths leaves six-eighths. We slide the denominator across because we're talking about the same amount of pieces that were cut. 8 minus 2 equals 6. Okay? So, if something was split into 8 pieces and 2 of them were taken away, it leaves 6 from the entire, if this was the entire whole piece, if it was that big. Okay? So let's look at another one. We have 4 fifths minus 1 fifth. Here's what a whole one looks like. If it were split into fifths, it would look like this, and the green ones would be the four fifths. If we took one of them away, we would have three left over. What we're doing is sliding the denominator across because they're all fifths, and doing four take away one equals three fifths. See? We can look at another one now. If the top bar represented a whole thing, and the bottom bar was a whole thing split into 10 parts, and the yellow parts were the 8 parts that we had, it would be 8 little one-tenths, okay? If we took 3 of those one-tenths away, it would leave how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of them. 5 little one-tenths would be 5 tenths. Think of it as 8 pieces out of 10, eight pieces out of all 10 of them, and you took away three, that would leave five, see? Eight pieces out of 10, that's how you can look at a fraction, okay? Let's try another little quick one. If this is what a whole one looked like, and this is what it looked like if it was split into three parts, into thirds, the orange ones are the two thirds, and if we took one of those two thirds away, we would only have one-third left over. See that? Because two take away one is one. And we slide the denominator over because we're talking about all thirds here. Okay? Here's our last one. If this is the whole item and it was split into four parts and the blue ones were the three-fourths and we took two of those one-fourths away, one-fourth and one-fourth is two-fourths, it would leave one little blue one left, one-fourth. See? Because we're talking about all fourths, the answer is going to be a fourth. So it's pretty much like just sliding the denominator across and doing subtraction for the numerators. 3 minus 2 equals 1. Okay? So, 
that is subtracting fractions with common denominators. We're going to talk more about different denominators when we get into the fifth grade level because with the common core, which is what I'm following, doesn't do the different denominators for subtraction in the fourth grade level. So I do have a fraction folder that has that information in it. You can look for Joanne School Fractions folder and you'll see all kinds of fraction videos in there including these and the third grade ones. I know you're trying hard. Keep up the good work and I'll see you next video. Bye!